Hey, what's up, YouTube? Tops85401, and I just want to do a, a PC showcase, a side PC showcase on my boy Ricky Henderson. He was actually my uh, favorite player growing up. So I just figured I'd show you guys a little side PC action I got of him. Uh, I got the 85 uh, Donruss and Leaf OPG and top, so I got a, you know some parallels in here. And most of these cards are during Ricky's playing days. Few, few, uh, few contemporary cards, but most of them are during his playing days. Love that '88 Fleer, man. It brings me back to my childhood. Love that set. Love it, love it. Uh, some of them are in the binders. I got a few that aren't in binders, are in like screw downs and whatnot. So I'll show you those as well. Man, love that '86 Tops for some reason. That's a great card. And love that uh, cut to the chase. That is a contemporary one, obviously not from his playing days. See all that flashing? My TV's flashing. <laughs> Funny. Love that '86 Fleer too. All those like earlier '80s, um, <clears throat> earlier '80s cards are really awesome, especially for like the Ricky Henderson. And this guy was just absolutely ridiculous good. I don't know how many you guys got to watch him play, but. There is, used to be something called a Ricky Rally, where Henderson would you know lead off the game with a walk, steal second, steal third, and then come home on a ground ball or a sacrifice fly. So the A's would score a run without a base hit, and they called it a Ricky Rally back in the day. Love those old Fleer All-Star insert cards. Mike Line TV, when he uh, came visiting me, gave me that one. He pulled it out of a rack pack at 88 score. So that was cool. Man, this brings me back to my childhood. Probably one of my favorite cards when I was a kid is that 84 highlight card. The 83 record breaker card. Loved that one. And then, of course, the 84 tops. Got all, like, these are all different, different variations there. And let's see what else. I know the 83 tops is also the the... The regular 83 tops is one of my favorites. That was actually earlier on the binder here. Love that Kellogg's 3D. Pick pick some some of the newer ones up at checkoutmycards.com pretty recently. Maybe some of you guys saw that video. But like all the museum and uh, tribute and triple threads, all those cards are nice to have. Love them in the A's uniform, man. That got, that's when he was in his prime. In his prime, as some might say. So hopefully someday I'll have a whole binder full of Hendersons. Love that 3D upper deck. So that's that for the binder cards. Now let me show you what else I got. So when I was at Nationals this year, I was able to get my first Henderson autograph. Very nice. Love that. On an acetate. What is a tier one acetate card? I believe it's numbered to 99. Very nice there. Love the old refractors. There he is with the Padres. I need to pick up some more of his refractors on the A's, but most of those are the older refractors. Those things are going to cost a whole heap. I, I say I say a whole heap of money. Love that one when he was on the Mets, the 2000 finest refractor. There we go. There's a nice uh, A's uniform refractor on the 94 Bowman's Best. Now to get the 94 finest. I used to have one, but I um I traded it away because I had a refractor line. I didn't like the refractor line, so now I got I gotta get one another one. The old gold nuggets refractor. Here's one of my favorites, a 96 tops chrome. There he is sliding into second. And of course he's safe. Safe! Another 96 tops chrome masters of the game refractor. Nice card there. And looks like a Topps Chrome reproduction refractor. That's back the year where they called them retrofractors, where they'd have like the um, the original back stock, but then the refractor front stock. We go with a nice jersey card of Ricky. Another jersey card. I think this one's numbered to like a hundred. I picked this one up probably when I first got on YouTube. Yep, numbered to a hundred. And then this one, 
Nice, uh, what is it, a uh, Sterling number to 50. Love this one here, a Bat Relic Refractor from Topps Chrome. Nice one there, lots of shine, lots of shine. This one's one of my favorite uh, Relic cards of Henderson because the Relic is on both sides. Just love that, man. I don't know why. They, they don't make them like this anymore, but I love it where you, you get, get the whole Relic. Great card there. So nice there. And of course, the Gypsy Queen. Beautiful mini Gypsy Queen Relic card. Love that card, man. Traded for this at my LCS one day. So that one you can kind of see the back of the relic, but pretty cool. Then we got one with him in the Padres, uniform, or no, that's a Red Sox, excuse me, bat card, Red Sox bat card. And of course the rookie card, I got several copies of the, uh, Henderson's rookie, but <clears throat> this uh, B BVG one is probably my best one, graded 7.5. I got two or three others. But like that, love, I mean, for back in the day, like back in the 80s, 70s, whatever, this is probably the most beautiful looking rookie card of all time because it's actually a photo of Ricky playing. It's not like a portrait photo or one of those cards where you got like five or six or four or three or whatever ball players on the same card and the same like star rookie or prospects or whatever. It's just a beautiful card of Ricky hitting. And his slouch, it's got the uh, facsimile autograph. I mean, everything about this card is just beautiful. And it is kind of what a lot of people consider cut off for vintage, like 19, anything be, uh, 1980 or before would be considered vintage to a lot of collectors. I know some collectors say 75, some collectors say 1980, some collectors say, you know, before 1970. For me, it's anything 1980 or before is vintage. So this is... The, uh, the last year of true vintage, I guess 81, that's in the Donruss and Fleer and Tops and all that. You know, maybe that's why. I don't know. More competition. But, um, but yeah, guys, that's my PC showcase of the great Ricky Henderson. So comment down below. Let me know what you think. And happy collecting. And uh, happy 2015. So I hope all your collecting goals are achieved in this great year of 2015. Alright guys, peace out.